Welcome to Aomori. I'm in the city center, just very close to the um, to the station actually. And um, today I'm taking it rather easy and I thought it would be quite cool to go for a little walk, spend the first hour here. Well, I was here last night actually for the uh, Matsuri for the festival. But um, I'm gonna take an hour um, taking you along, showing you what the general area is like. And then I'm gonna take it really easy today. I've got a few, I've got a project in mind that I'm filming and I might vlog this um, rather than film for the main Ninja Monkey channel. So let's start off by turning the camera around so that you can see what To my Discord, hey there. I'm gonna share this to Discord. make sure that I'm doing it in the right one okay so the station is over there and um, I've just come on from the Shinkansen from Hachimoe station I think it's called Hachimoe the reason that I'm staying in Hachimoe is because during Matsuri period or festival period, it's nearly impossible, nearly impossible to find accommodation. And I ended up um, find, not being able to find any accommodation in Aomori city where I am right now. Instead, because we have the JR Pass, let's not talk about the JR Pass, but because we have the JR Pass, it means that we can certainly, um, you know, use it to our, our advantage. And I ended up staying in Hachimoe which is one stop on the Shinkansen, about 35 minutes away. So it isn't too bad. But even then, when I booked my hotel back in February, I think it was, I literally got one of the last rooms and it was a smoking room. But yeah, hey, Daingo, hey. Hey, Jennifer's in the house. And so is Follow the Sun, awesome. I'm at the... Cabana in Hawaii, 12 hours of work since 3 a.m. My break with Happy Jack Gaijin then. Yeah! <laughs> Let me turn things down. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be doing now. Hello! Everybody say hello. We're hello. streaming. Always hello. making friends here. Yeah? We're just live stream YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good time. Thank you. Where are you from? From China. From China? Yeah. Cool. Where in China? Well, in Gona. Hmm? Gona. In Gona. No. <laughs> hmm? No, not yet. Yeah, not yet. I should, I should. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Have a nice day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chinese tourists. They're back. They are back. Let me turn things around. You don't want to see my face. Right. So, um, my plan for today. I was going to do an Aomori sort of like things to do video for Ninja Monkey. But to be honest, I am a little bit shattered. <laughs> I am a little bit shattered, guys. And hello. And I'm literally going to take it a little bit easier today. Um, so I have a project in mind that I've been sort of filming slowly for. And I'm going to do this little stream for about an hour or so, show you the site, show you some of the areas nearby. I want to get, I want to show you a really cool view of the of the bridge. And then. I'll probably spend a few hours, have lunch here, and head back to Hachinoe, where I am staying. Um, and tomorrow, I'm actually back in Morioka, but tomorrow is going to be a nothing day. And I'm actually considering, potentially, going to, um, to Sendai for the day on the Shinkansen, because they have the, the, um, their Matsuri there. And it's something that apparently can be experienced during the day also. Sounds like a free Asahi lunch to relax. I have been to three festivals in three days. I did the Morioka um, Sansa Odori festival two nights ago. Then 
I did the, or three nights ago, then I did the Akita um, Kanto Festival two nights ago. And then last night I did the Nebuta Festival here in Aomori. Um, and I'm incredibly tempted to go to Sendai um, because from my research and speaking to some contacts that I've now made in Sendai, um, from my research, it seems to be a festival that can that doesn't really have a huge parade as such. It's more a festival of lots of events going going on around the city and um, incredible like bamboo crafts that are that are like um, put on display across the whole city. So I might go to Sendai for a few hours just to check it out before returning to Morioka. It was crazy, but it was fun, guys. So look. Um, let me show you. Am I going to the boardwalk? You know what? I'm actually... I'm not going to lie. I'm actually very much not prepared for Aomori. <laughs> I'm going with the flow. Um, usually... I plan, I do my research and I plan where I'm going to go and what I'm going to see and what I'm going to do. But um, this time round, Aomori, the main um, focus was the festival that I did last night. And today, it's a, a day of wandering around with, with, without really much um, sort of like planning, if that makes any sense. And from Morioka to Sendai, it's probably about 45 minutes on the Shinkansen, my guess is. Maybe even less, actually. So it isn't bad at all. Now, for you who don't know, um, Aomori is sort of Japan's capital of apple, of Ringo. So you, you will see a lot of things are centered with apple. They sell a lot of apple products. There's an apple factory, sort of like a craft place that we're gonna check out over there on that side. And even the hotel that I'm staying in, which is in, in Hachinoe, which is part of our Aomori, um, the, the shampoo and the, um, and the body soap is apple-centered, so I smell like an apple right now. <laughs> but I want to show you this area here, which is uh, sort of like a, um, a little, little area, food stall area, where people can, can come before the Matsuri. We have some apple filled spring rolls omg that looks great guys wow that looks pretty good um what else do we have here we have some dona kebabs no apple but I think this is apple juice. <laughs> Guys, fresh apple juice. I am very tempted. I am very tempted. Um, what else do we have here? Okay, there's there, there, um, some prawns there, some fish stuff. Then let's go over to this side. I mean, these places are all lined up around the whole of our body, by the way. And I'll give you my verdict on my Matsuri experience in a future video. But yeah, some food. This looks pretty nice also. It looks very delicious, actually. Um, I had a beer here last night before going to the Matsuri. And I actually... Really funny, guys. I met this Korean girl. girl. Um, there's something that you need to know about um, coming to the Inaka or not Tokyo, Kyoto, Osaka area of Japan, better said. And that is that trains don't really run. Um, sometimes they don't run on time, even the Shinkansen, shockingly. Secondly, um, that um, trains are, and buses are not very frequent. So yesterday I made the rookie mistake of thinking, oh, I have a few hours before I check into my hotel. 
I'm gonna go to the to get the train to the seaside. There's supposed to be a nice shrine and, um, and views from there. And okay, no problem, I got the train. And then when I got to the train station after walking around for 45 minutes, the next train was over two and a half hours away. So I went to the train station and I thought there's no way, I, I can't wait two and a half hours. You know, time is golden, time is, um, is, is money. And I need to get to the Matsuri tonight. And if I spend two and a half hours waiting, I still need to check in, etc. So there was this Korean girl that I met and we shared a taxi from the seaside back to the station. And it was quite fun because um, our common language was Japanese and a little bit of English. So it was funny because we were sort of communicating in, in um, she was communicating in, in broken English and Japanese and I was communicating in Japanese and English. So it was kind of fun. Anyway, check this out. For those of you who don't believe me, there's an apple <laughs> there and pretty cool. And check out this bridge. Let me put the, the um, tele, like the, the um, so you can really get a sense of the view here. Check it out. Hinaka is a countryside, indeed it is. Yeah, I have a really good connection now. I mean, last night it was really difficult um, due to the sheer volume of people. I mean, there were so many people. Yeah, that's where we are in Aomori. And what I wanted to show you actually was up, up there, we have the A factory and actually the Korean girl um, we ended up hanging out a little bit and coming to, to the Matsuri together. She just didn't want to be in film on film. But the Korean girl, she told me that, um, oh, we should go to the A factory because they sell everything that's apple and they have some really good apple pie there. And, <laughs> and so we came, I had some apple pie yesterday, but I am considering getting some apple juice from the A factory. <laughs> What do you think guys? Apple juice from the A factory? Yay or nay? Whew. They've given a heat warning up here today. It came up on my phone. Excessive heat warning it said. So. But it's a little bit cloudy now. It's not too bad. I don't think it's too bad to be honest. Hey, Jim is in the house. <laughs> Nathan ends up with girls, Japanese, Korean. <laughs> uh oh, three <so> must end. <laughs> uh, the little um, hat went flying. It's a little bit of a breeze. It's quite nice. Um, they even said it might rain a little bit. Good morning from India. Alminox, you made it. <laughs> we have a really good connection. I mean, Last night, I was just explaining, you know, this internet and pocket Wi-Fi has been working so well, but I also met some Japanese people and they were having problems connecting to the internet yesterday because it was just the sheer, the sheer volume of people. I mean, I don't know how many people came last night, but there must have been hundreds of thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people, I swear. Like, but in a very well organized, it didn't feel like the Guillaume Matsuri always feels very, like too much, too many people. The one in Osaka feels like over the top. I can't, I can't deal with that one. But this one, even though there were sheer, the volume of people was like incredible. I felt that I could manage it. And things were very well organized, and I felt spread out in an interesting way. The flow continued. So this is the A factory, everyone. And A factory is basically a place where they sell produce that is made in, in um, Aomori. And as you can imagine, Aomori 
is famous for apples. So you're gonna get ciders, you're gonna get apple juice, you're gonna get all sorts of apple related things. Um, yeah, the festival footage, I mean, you need to wait and see what I've actually captured with my good camera, guys. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the stream was good, it was incredible, but my big camera that I've been carrying around with has taken some pretty good epic festival footage. Gohan Mo Mochi something? Apple this, apple that, apple pie, <laughs> apple, apple. Petite lovely pie made with apple also. Um, Cider vinegar or apple vinegar, I'm guessing. Apple, 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 apple. Ooh, Aji Chiffon. Ooh, Aji Chiffon family. What is this? That's got my attention, guys. Italian pudding. Some apple juice. Ooh, canned apples from from um, Almodi. That sounds quite delicious actually. I mean I had a really good apple pie yesterday but do I wanna have a, do I wanna get it again? That's the question. Apple flavored sake, I'm sure, I'm sure that there has to be apple flavored sake. Ah, this is takeout. I and mean, if you wanna have, if you wanna eat in store then they have cider, they have cider. And What else is there? Hot coffee, ice latte, um, cooling tea, Coke Zero. Oh, Coke Zero. Ooh, Cola Zero. Ginger ale, melon soda, cream melon soda. Aomori cider soda. Ooh, Aomori cider soda. Sounds like a potentially interesting. Aomori cider soda. Fried potato, two potatoes, onion rings. I mean, is it lunch? Not really. Hamburger. Apple burger. Oh. Apple burger, guys. They have an apple burger there. What? <laughs> so, recommendations Ocean Burger Special. Cider soda, cider soda, non alcoholic, okay. Sweet standard dry. Um, I'm considering the, the double cheeseburger. Mm. Maybe, guys. What do you think? Should I try the cider soda? The Cider Aomori soda, and I can choose dry, standard, or sweet. Hey everyone, welcome to um, the Happy Gaijin. I am streaming on the Happy Gaijin, I hope anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm Ninja Monkey, I'm Nathan, and I am in Aomori right now. I am in a, in a place called A Factory, like Apple Factory. It's a sort of like a food market indoor that um, sells produce from around the area where you can buy all sorts of Apple related products. And I'm just admiring this menu where I've just seen a Aomori cider soda, which is apparently non-alcoholic, unfortunately. 
Um, but I don't think I'm gonna go for the dry. I'm, I don't tend to go for dry things. I'm just gonna go for the standard. Dry, standard or sweet. Just go for the middle, standard. Um, yeah, shall we do this, guys? Somewhere to sit. Oh, that soft ice cream looks good. And I'll give you a pro tip. Pro tip, everyone. Before looking at a menu, plonk a bag on a on a chair on a table <laughs> so that it can save your seats. Because then you um, end up ordering like I've done in the past and then not having anywhere to sit down which has been really awkward <laughs> awkward is an understatement right let's see if I can find somewhere around the side okay is there all right there seems to be some availability there I'm just gonna plonk my bag there that's right I'm in Japan and I feel incredibly um, safe that if I leave my bag here nothing will happen Okay, I have now saved my seat, saved my seat, and I'm gonna get myself, oh, the only thing is that the pocket Wi-Fi is in the bag. <laughs> Hopefully it will say it will be not too far. Hi, konnichiwa. Aomori cider soda standard on the Standard zero. So I'm not very sure if it's going to be in a bottle. I think it's going to be in a bottle. Will they give me a glass? Yes, they're going to give me a glass. Okay. Is she going to pour it? Arigato. Okay, let's go. So this is what you do. You plonk a bag to save your space. <laughs> And I'm just gonna turn this around, put it on a stand over here. Happy guys, right? Everyone, hi, hey, hey, everyone. I am in Al Mori in a factory, it's called a factory, and um. I came here last night to the to the um, festival and it was incredible. If you haven't checked out that live stream, I re-uploaded it so it doesn't appear as a live stream. Um, just because the connection was a little bit iffy and I wanted to make sure that you could get a good quality version. And um, please check it out. I've been filming like a maniac for the last few days across three different Matsuris, including the um, Morioka Sansa Odori Festival that I went to the um, Akita Kanto festival that I went to and then last night the um, the one here in Aomori. They've all been incredible, incredibly fun, loads of um, incredible experiences and I can't wait to see, to show you all the footage that I've, that I've actually um, put together. But on that note, Aomori is famous for its apples and I thought that I would try some Aomori cider sparkling standard and I could actually choose um, whether I could actually choose Aomori cider sweet standard or dry and I went for the standard usually dry things are just a little bit too dry for me standard and sweet is usually what I go for but I thought if I go for the middle ground then hey it should be fine okay now <clears throat> this is a non-alcoholic and apart from it being non-alcoholic it's um 
I'm guessing it's going to be different to what I think cider is. You know? Oh, hello! <laughs> I'm guessing um, it's going to be different to what I, you know, what cider is like back home. Cider back home is alcoholic, number one. Um, and it's made out of apples also, but let's see. Let's give it a go. Kampai. Can I say Kampai if it's not alcoholic? Um, let's see. It tastes like a very... A big, first of all, sweetness-wise, it's perfect. Literally the perfect amount of sweetness. It's, it's like not dry, it's not too sweet, it's perfect. And um, it tastes like very faintly apple, sparkling apple with a little bit of a cider flavor. Um, it's quite good. I don't know if I would, I, if I would it would be a, my drink of choice, to be honest, but it's quite good. Hey, let's see who's here. Sorry if I missed any of your chats. Hey, Black Impala, how are you doing? Jesse, how are you doing? Noel, how are you doing? Um, <laughs> you thought I was going to get the burger. Well, I don't know. It's just a little bit early, to be honest. And I want to drink this and I want to take you outside. You know, I don't want to spend, spend the stream here. I want to stream for about an hour. And that's it, because after that I'm going to, I've got a project in mind that I've been filming a little bit here and there and I think I need to slow down my pace and I'm literally just going to, to do that today in Aomori. No plans, just um, me wandering around the city, taking some footage and um, maybe vlogging it for Happy Gaijin, which I haven't started yet, but hey. I didn't go for the burger, not this time. I think I I I, I like um, eating street food. <laughs> My diet's gone out the window here, but hey, maybe it's the camera or lighting. But you got really tanned while in Japan. I have got really tanned whilst in Japan. Are you tanning more in Japan than in the Mediterranean? No, about the same. About the same. Um, basically, about the same. Somebody sent me a message. I don't know what I don't know what they sent a message about. I can't check now. Um, actually, I think that in the Mediterranean I, I tan even more. Um, basically, because in the Mediterranean I become a sun worshiper and I go to the beach and I go like this. I get tanned. I go in the water. <laughs> um, here, I'm actually wearing a cap, which I don't normally wear a cap. I don't think caps suit me. So, yeah. If you look back at some of my, my um, summer videos, um, you'll see how tanned I get back home. Sukayu Onsen. Um, like I said, I have, I've had a very, very, very meticulously planned, very, very intense itinerary. And there's so many things to explore. And the great thing about going to, you know, like um, places like, um, like Sukayu Onsen, like you've just mentioned, um, it just means that I'm just gonna come, have to come back. Having experienced the festivals here in in, um, in Tohoku, I can tell you right now that I will return to this area for the festivals. I will want to do them again. I would love to do them again. They've just been so much fun. Um, hopefully, actually been able to get some accommodation in the area. Um, but but tomorrow I'm on the go again. Tomorrow, tomorrow I'm in Morioka, and then after that. Um, I might go. I might be going to Sendai tomorrow also for the for the um, festival there. And then after that, after that, I'm on the go for quite a quite a few days in a, on the trot. So I need to just stay put, make, take it easy, and um, not do any specific day trips. Um, to be honest, I think I I should have spent more time here in Aomori or in Sendai, perhaps. I should have um, spent not just two nights, but maybe 
four or five. Hey, thank you. Here's a random message of good kind. Thank you, Alminox, dude. Arigato gozaimasu. Thanks for the for the um, PayPal, um, one thousand yen. Much appreciated. Um, but yeah, I think I should have spent a few days so that I could actually move around a little bit more and explore the area. But hey, it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. I come to Japan very often. And I'm already think I'm coming back in October. For those of you who don't know, I'm back in October. I was gonna be Tokyo based, but I might just get that last rail pass before the prices go up. I don't know, I'm tempted. I am super tempted to do that. Before the before the prices go up, maybe um, get a rail pass for a week or so. But I'll be back. I mean I'm be, I mean, I'd like to come back for, for Christmas and New Year's again, but I don't know financially where I stand. I really need to check that out. Hey, Eddie! Hey, dude! Thanks for taking us to the festival last night. Wish I was there. Glad you were there to share it with us. Yeah, this is what this channel is about. I always find I've been wanting to share my trip in a more casual way with um, viewers. And the Happy Gaijin channel is exactly that. It's a place for me to hopefully be able to bring you along and hopefully get a little glimpse of some of the, you know, main bits of my trip and you have a good idea, give you updates of what I've been doing, etc. So, yeah. Do it! Don't regret it either. Yeah, I think, I mean, maybe I, I will. I, I mean, to be honest, I need to look at my finances. Um, I think I'm doing okay. I'm very good financially when it comes to... to um, saving money for projects. I'm a very project-based individual. I, I, can, I can have five or six projects going on in my head and I can keep track of everything, what I need to film, what I need to film, where, like, lots of edits going on at the same time. <laughs> but, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I cannot be reckless financially. I cannot. I cannot. I have to, I have to be careful. When I get back home, I'm not, I have October, and when I come, when I get back home in two and a half weeks time now, more or less, I will, um, I will um, look at my finances and decide whether or not it's feasible. Um, if I did come in Christmas, I wouldn't come in February and I would maybe try to come for, for Sakura. This is the thing, I want to really come for Sakura. And it also all depends on YouTube finances like Patreon, Super Chats, donations, etc. Hey Jim Roth, thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, Arigato. I was just talking about, about how um, donations and, and all that kind of thing, they go into a pot which helps with these trips specifically and also with filming and, um, and um, purchasing things like pocket Wi-Fi, etc. Um, so, on the note of Booker Wi-Fi, if you need some, check out my affiliate link. <laughs> Alright, let's drink this and let's get out of here so you can see a little bit more of the outside world. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Donations are not a must. I want to make this very clear. I appreciate all donations. Um, but your time, actually, watching this means means a lot because I say it all the time. Time is money, and the fact that you're choosing to watch and you know, like, interact with me and keep me company um, is absolutely fine. Um, so I don't want anybody to feel pressured, but they need to financially support me. Okay? <laughs> if you feel that you want to, then that's absolutely great. Obviously, are you be back in October? For Halloween, I, yeah, well this is the plan. My plan is to go for Halloween, but I arrive on the Sunday. So it will basically be the, that Sunday, the, the whatever, the 20, whatever it is, 29th. So I don't do too well with crowds. We'll see. Already talking to Pearl, to my good friend Oriental Pearl about themes, so that we can dress in, in a theme. <laughs> Quite good, quite refreshing. 
perfect sweetness. I'm gonna find a trash can or a bin before I walk around and I'm going to um, show you the outside world a little bit. And yeah, so about half an hour left of the stream. After which I will film some stuff. Christmas in Japan, Alminox. Excellent. Right, let's get out of here, right? I think this has been a lot of talking from my part. Let's find a place where we where, where can throw this and Okay guys, I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see what I'm seeing. Japan, Japan, Japan! Thank you! Hey, Akihabara, awesome! Dude, stay safe, stay hydrated, stay positive, be a happy guy, Jin. <laughs> Let's turn things around. Is there a trash can anywhere around here? Here's the question. Oh, there we go. So, cans and bottles go here. Let's do with this. <laughs> and everything else goes in here. Let's get out of here, everyone. Bye bye, A Factory. I mean, this is the top floor, so but we've had enough indoor time. Let's go for a little walk. Oh, that looks interesting, guys. Oof. All right, it's a little bit um, bright out here, so I can't read what you're writing, but I'll check it out in a minute. Um, this bridge actually reminds me a little bit of Busan in, in Korea. If anybody's been to Busan in Korea, um, there's a beach very similar to this with a bridge very similar to this um, out in the bay. And it's very impressive. Actually, incredibly impressive. Oh, swimming. But um, until until I think you just couldn't cope anymore. <laughs> wow. So maybe what I can do is I can walk. What do you think? I'll walk along there, across, and then we're gonna go to the area where the Matsuri happened. And now I've got a freaking burger in my head. Now I want a burger. nice in the shade there's a nice breeze and um, it's definitely hot but it's a different kind of hot it's a different kind of heat compared to um to like tokyo osaka especially with kyoto that's an, a whole other level <laughs> japan japan ichiban will tell you about that <laughs> all right Are you 
sure that didn't have alcohol? Maybe it had alcohol. Because I'm feeling a little bit buzzed, to be honest, <laughs> after drinking that. The other side. fun with the Happy Guiding um, channel, you know? I think um, I think it's hopefully showing a different side to me. <laughs> I, don't, I, never, I never felt that I was being different on the Happy Gaijin. I just feel that in the, sorry, in the Ninja Monkey. But in the Ninja Monkey channel, I just feel I'm a little bit more curated, if that's a word. <laughs> I choose very carefully what I put out there. Um, I check all the facts a million times. I try not to be controversial. I try to, to be useful. And um, on this Happy Gaijin channel, it's just all about bringing you along with the trip and hanging out with me. Um, I mean, I still need view hours and I still need more subscribers for it to, to be financially viable so that it can actually help me with trips. It's not happening just yet. But in the future, hopefully, it will. <laughs> A cruise ship to Japan for relaxed travel. I think that would be too relaxing for me. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if I have like ADHD, you know, attention deficit disorder. I sit in a place and I just can't. Like, like my favorite thing to do is like, like um, bar hopping is a is a kaya hopping because if I stay in one place for too long, I just want to move. But yeah, the bay. There's uh, some cruise ships. You can see them in, across the bay. All right. So I'm gonna try and find the area where the festival happened last night. It would be nice to see it during the day. Maybe I'll try. I mean, to be honest, my food. I wanna go this way. My my eating habits have been terrible. <laughs> Um, just because I find that I'm filming and I'm grabbing quick things to eat rather than sitting down to eat so yeah it is what it is but today I'd like to find somewhere to sit down even if I return to the A factory I'm going to read some of your comments in a moment. It's just a little bit glary. I am the happy gaijin. Oh, a blank spot. <laughs> Walking under the bridge killed it. <laughs> but we're back, we're back, we're back. Mm. Anyway, I was saying, for those of you who are watching, I'm Nathan, I'm Ninja Monkey. It doesn't like this specific area. And um, for those of you who are watching, you might want to check my Ninja Monkey channel too, where I will be giving you some tips and guides and information that is important.
I definitely have enough content. <laughs> definitely. Whoa. Catch you soon. So we're just approaching the main sort of area. Oh, it's nice and cool right now, guys. Nice and cool. I can't believe I'm saying those words in Japan in the summer. There's a little bit of a wind, there's a little bit of a breeze. But it feels great. One thing that I always find <laughs> a little bit confusing in Japan, even after 20 times of traveling the country, is zebra crossings. Um, zebra crossings, pedestrian crosses, crossings, are just always something that confuses me. Always. <laughs> because sometimes cars stop, sometimes they don't. Uh, <laughs> I still don't figure out, can't figure out the rules. So this um, is the area where the Matsuri takes place during the evening as from around 7 p.m. But if you're gonna come, I suggest you come at around 6. Um, all of this is lined up with people. From here to the street level, they put chairs and people come and they, they prepare mats um, and they sort of like um, just get ready for the Matsuri. Um, personally, it's so well organized and everyone is so well mannered because the people sitting on like in this front area, they remain seated and the people in the mats remain on the floor. So it means that you have a layer of one, two, three, four people maybe but everyone's on the floor or on, or on chairs and therefore it, um, it means that you can stand maybe one or two layers of people standing and it means that um, you can actually see quite well. But I want to actually give a pro tip for anybody, anybody who's coming to this Matsuri in, in um, Aomori. I'm going to give you a really pro tip that I learned um, here and that is that yeah spend some time watching the matsuri because it's incredibly epic it's it's it was fun buzzing electric um people jumping the the rhythm the, the tune is so contagious um it just wants to make you dance i by the end of i mean i did have three beers but that's usually my limit you know try not to drink more than three beer three beers when i'm doing these thing, things um people were dancing through the street in through the street the everybody was in incredibly good good mood the drums the huge lantern floats it was just something that you need to do if you come to japan in the summer <laughs> but what i was gonna say is that yeah stick to one place and watch the matsuri absolutely do it but there is a secret that I discovered by accident. I went for a little walk um, up to the beginning, to where the start of the Matsuri is. And the start of the Matsuri, the many, many, they're basically getting, but, if you go to the very beginning, you will actually get a very, very um, interesting, unique starting view of the performance. So it starts off, usually, it starts off with um, one giant taiko drummer playing a special beat. Then, 
a few more taiko drummers join in and it just sort of crescendo just sort of becomes more and more exciting as 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 more drummers join in and then the flautists and the percussionists they join in with their special um, melodies that they play but they turn around and they face the audience that's over there and i can tell you that the audience that's over there is actually not um not as packed as here over there i mean i could literally walk up to them with plenty of space around me <laughs> so a hundred percent definitely hello <laughs> 100% definitely worth the 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 um that sort of experience they all turn around they stop they perform for you and then they turn around and they join the parade they join the procession but you will only get that at the very beginning of the matsuri which is where i recommend you also head to so um very very cool very special waiting here you know I'm considering getting a haircut <laughs> also maybe let's see who's here Um, Shin Machi shopping street here. Shin Machi shopping street in Aomori um, city center. Just waiting for the. I'm waiting in the shades for the um, little green man to appear. Now, here we go. So, kind of a normal. Um, look at that building there. It's a triangle. Interesting. <laughs> a pyramid? Triangle? It's just a. Seems like a very normal town or city during the day but then at night it becomes a whole different thing during the matsuri it becomes alive and buzzing electric and fun did i get to dance eh, not in this one not in this one I mean, I was dancing along the street with a few random people that were also dancing, but um, not in the same way that I did in, in the Morioka one, the San Salvadori Matsuri. Um, at the end of the Matsuri, they sort of create a big circle and um, people teach you how to dance, the dance moves. And that was loads of fun. But this one didn't have a specific dance. This one, I think, it was more of a jumping, being crazy, having fun, sort of, sort of atmosphere. We are Sumi, Jesse, thanks for being here. I mean, I will be ending the stream shortly, as promised. And maybe it's time for me to figure out what I'm gonna have for lunch around here probably do a quick google search i don't want to spend too long having lunch but usually when i do have lunch is when i um do a little bit of research what i'm gonna see what i'm gonna do you know that kind of thing oh look at that these are the the some photos of the matsuri the different floats 
they were all very 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 cool and you can't even imagine how incredible I'm only gonna stream a little bit longer Dangle I'm keeping it to an hour or so um, because it's it's all it's midday now so it's a good time for me to sort of end the stream soon find somewhere for lunch and um, do a little bit of research what, what am I gonna see in the city I don't think there's too much to see in the city to be honest but like I said my the whole point of me coming here was to do the Matsuri um, originally I wanted to um, to rent a car from here and today I would have gone driving but I'm just too tired and it just hasn't worked out I need I need to spend at least two more nights in one area to do that so maybe next time I have my driver's license and everything maybe next time I'll have to just plan it differently oh look for example they might already be preparing for tonight wow so early cool it's only midday so you need to come early <laughs> for tonight and you're preparing yeah i'm preparing for the sunset for for yeah i came last night you came last night yeah ego josu this ego josu this wow I'm using English in company. Ah, wow. So people will put mats down and they prepare, no? Mm -hmm. yeah. And this is, but then the, the seats you have to pay, yeah? Seats you have to pay. I, I don't think so. You don't have to pay for the seats? Yeah, I think the stores are preparing for these seats. Okay. And to, to invite someone. Ah, so they, yeah. they set up the seats and then they invite. Yeah, then and this you any anybody can put mats down. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Ah. And you you do you stay here all day or do you go home? Um, we stay in another area, not Aomori, near to Aomori, the Hachimori area. I'm staying in Hachimori also. Ah, yeah. 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 <laughs> the price is very high. Yes, That's and the, there, there's know. there's no accommodation here either. <laughs> I couldn't find any accommodation. <laughs> But I mean, you leave this on the floor? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. And you yeah, just okay, leave it here? We need to read because it's crazy hot. <laughs> then we will come back. And we'll nobody, will, nobody will sit here? I, we, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> you hope so. Where are you from? Tokyo. Tokyo. Have you met this Yes, Ah, cool. Bye. Bye. Thank you. So they're doing exactly the same as me. They're staying in, uh, in the same area and they're coming to the Matsuri. I mean, it is, I'm not going to lie, guys. It's incredibly tempting to come back tonight to the Matsuri. <laughs> it's incredibly, incredibly <laughs> tempting because it was so much fun. But I think I need to stop myself or else I'm just going to like, fizzle out <laughs> so yeah apparently these are stores they they um, invite people and they place the chairs in front of the stores it's guys it's really cool it's really cool and it's really nice right now the temperature is pretty nice I'm not gonna lie there's a little bit of a breeze in the shade um, it's warm in the sun but it's cool in the shade right now anyway and you'll see people saying check it out getting the mats prepared so nice and early yeah and mosquito repellent <laughs> very important for japan in the summer Oh look, they're writing something there on the floor.
Hey everyone, if you're joining in now, it's gonna, it's the end of the stream, I'm gonna stop the stream. But, I wanted to remind you that I have actually just uploaded my, a little bit of a, a of a half an hour um, stream that I did yesterday at this festival in Aomori. So if you haven't checked that one out, you might want to just to get a sense of how incredible this, <laughs> this um, festival was. Um, and if you're new and you're watching me for the very first time, I'm Nathan, happy Gaijin, but my main channel is actually the Ninja Monkey. So check out Ninja Monkey and subscribe there for Japan related tips and guides, etc. I hope that you all have a fantastic day or night ahead of you. Um, and on that note, I'm going to sign out, grab myself something to eat, do a little bit of research get some air conditioning and some water in me and um, yeah everyone thanks for watching thanks for the donations and stay positive and as I always say be a happy gaijin bye everyone take care